Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are doing really well this morning. And so we will be taking a look at all that is happening across the Atlantic Basin as well as what could happen as we head into the next couple of days. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update video. And so as we take a look at the latest from the National Hurricane Center, there is one disturbance which is highlighted, and that is Invest 96L, which has a 10% chance of developing. So it is unlikely to become anything out there. It should be off the map very soon. But uh, looking back at the satellite imagery here, we can see all of the shower and thunderstorm activity in association with it. We also see some activity in the vicinity of uh, Bermuda, some showers and thunderstorms there. And across the main development region, there are two tropical waves as well. One is not very far from the northeastern coast of uh, northern South America and another is in the vicinity of the Cabo Verde Islands. And so as we drift closer to the Caribbean, here we can see that there is that cluster of showers and thunderstorms just in the vicinity of Barbados moving to the west. So it's likely that as we're going to be heading uh, later into this morning and some of this activity could impact the island, bringing maybe some showers and thunderstorms. But uh, for other islands there might be some rainfall activity through today things should be pretty dry for the abc islands though let's drift further to the west here and uh, there we can see those blobs one of which is in the vicinity of panama another just offshore and uh, in the vicinity of nicaragua so lots of moisture there supporting the development of that shower and thunderstorm activity uh things getting a bit clearer as we head to the cayman islands going to jamaica cuba hispaniola the bahamas Turks and caicos islands and also over to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and also for most of the Lesser Antilles. So now let's go ahead and look at what the rainfall maps have to show as we're going to be heading through today. So starting out with GFS here and as it becomes more colorful more rainfall is expected. So you can see that for most areas in Central America, there's likely to be some substantial rainfall, similar store for parts of Northern Colombia, going to Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana. As we look over into the Lesser Antilles, as I said, that shower and thunderstorm activities nearby, so that could enhance the rainfall for some areas. Maybe not anything too major uh, for most spots, but we're not talking about anything organized here, so it shouldn't be persistent either, even if it is heavy at times. Heading further up north, though, we see that things get drier up to Anguilla and uh, for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands there might be some activity similar story for most of uh, the Dominican Republic and Haiti going to Jamaica there might be some thunderstorms across some spots this afternoon also for sections of eastern Cuba Florida and the north uh, the northern Bahamas and so uh, Euro is in agreement with this as we move on to Euro here we can see that uh, that substantial rainfall activity likely across most of Central America going to northern South America ABC islands in the clear but uh, the model is not expecting as much rainfall over in the southeastern islands as a result of the passage of that activity so not much rainfall expected by Euro here so you can let me know in the comments what is happening for you guys across the greater Antilles there might be some thunderstorm development this this afternoon going up to the northern Bahamas and Florida so uh, that is what the models are expecting and so guys in terms of seeing something develop let's go ahead and take a look at what models have to show firstly though we're looking at the euro ensemble members and this goes out to uh, the end of Friday of next week so over a week from now and here we can see all these different tracks quite a bit of members expecting that we could see something coming from the uh, main development region, a tropical wave developing as it heads closer and closer to the Caribbean. And then uh, let's go ahead and look at what the model runs have to show. So we're going to be starting out with Euro. And so let's take a look at it. And the colors here, these greens, they represent the precipitation rate. And we're looking for those black squiggly lines being in a circular manner. And the closer we see them, the stronger the system is. So let's take a look at it. So as we're going to be heading uh, throughout the latter part of this week going to next week uh, we're not seeing much happening and so there you see all that moisture though likely in association with those tropical waves as they propagate westward but we're not seeing anything defined here so throughout this time frame heading into next week Euro is not expecting that we will see anything the icon model on the other hand this is uh, up to next Monday the 7th of August and here we can see that area of lots of moisture to the east of the Leeward Islands and then uh, out there 
they're in the main development region, maybe around midway between the Windward Islands and the coast of Africa. Pretty interesting here. And uh, this is actually the furthest it goes for this run, the 6Z run here. And uh, actually, Icon was expecting that we would see development as we head into next week. Let's go ahead and move on to the Canadian model. Now, Canadians still being bullish about this system, developing into a tropical storm and approach to the Caribbean, starting to make that west, uh, that northwestward track in the vicinity of the Leeward Islands. So uh, the Canadian model here is being persistent about this. But uh, actually, as for the GFS, now GFS is not showing much. So at first it was showing something crazy going over into the Gulf and intensifying. But now as for the main development region, we're not seeing where the model is expected that anything is going to be developing just some moisture moving through the Lesser Antilles. So pretty interesting here, guys. And as I said yesterday, development is all going to be dependent on how conducive the environment is. If there's a lot of dry air, if the upper level winds are too strong, then we won't see much happen. But with more conducive conditions, a lot more moisture, then it is likely that we're going to be seeing something which wouldn't even be surprising to see because we are in the month of August. So overall, a lot of models here hinting that we could see something next week, something try to form, but there is no absolute guarantee at this point in time. And I think we're still pretty far out. So let's wait and see what happens over the next couple of days. But of course, guys, I'm here to keep you posted on all that is happening so that you're never caught off guard. And so that is pretty much it for right now. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will respond as best and as soon as I can. And as always, remember to be weatherwise.